All right, so let's start this course with talking about the opportunity for um, doing mugs as a business. So again, many people might know about doing t-shirts. It's kind of, you know, the entry or, or gateway, as I uh, mentioned there in the intro. And uh, coffee mugs, I think it's obviously on people's radar, but I don't think enough people think to just specialize or do just um, coffee mugs. I think a lot of people do it as an extra. So I want to kind of uh, get into it here um, and just talk a little bit about the opportunity with coffee mugs. So this is on Etsy and I just did a nice general search of coffee mugs. Obviously, it's not very, you know, niche down or filter down, but you can see we have over half a million uh, results just on coffee mugs alone. So there's certainly a market out there for it. People are buying them um, out there. And there's all kinds of different coffee mugs that, you know, come up. Um, now, this is where you can begin to do some of your research to kind of see what's out there and see the opportunity uh, with them. Uh, but thanks to print on demands, the, the the opportunity with them is very minimal, you know, kind of like no need to have inventory for shirts or other print on demand products. Mugs are the same thing. You can actually get started by putting some random designs on some coffee mugs, seeing if they sell, uh, whether it's on Etsy or Amazon or anywhere else. And then from there, um, if they sell, you can do more of it and kind of scale and go from there and continue your research and do, you know, different mugs and different designs. If they don't, then no worries. You didn't pay anything for the coffee mugs. <laughs> you know, it's not like you have a uh, basement or garage full of uh, coffee mug inventory. So um, begin with doing your research, kind of see what's selling. As I'm recording this, it's September. So that means that fall is kind of in the air and it's pretty popular. So that means um, this one here uh, probably does uh, pretty well. Um, and then you have all, you know, other types, evergreen. You have all kinds of different mugs, kind of like latte mugs. You can have 11 ounce mugs that are smaller, 15 ounce mugs. You can have camper mugs. Um, the camper mugs kind of look like this. They have like a little bit of uh, tin at the top and everything. So you have all kinds of different coffee mugs that you can do. So that's where your research can lead you. And then, of course, with Etsy, they have other um, options up here so I can look at you know well let me look at funny coffee mugs or something like that now another good opportunity that I did not want to fail to mention is the fact that you can do personalized coffee mugs and especially on the Etsy platform um, personalization is, is key that's kind of how Etsy began its roots to begin with was handmade and like personalized that's where you went to get a um, you know, seventh anniversary gift just because uh, everything else is, is five or ten out there. So just as an example, so you can notice we filtered it down to 91,000 results. Still a lot, but then, you know, this is how you do research. You would continue to filter it down. So if you wanted to do a bunch of birthday personalized ones, then I would filter that down and put in birthday. And then I'm sure that 91,000 will jump to like 30,000. And then if I wanted to do kids personalized coffee mugs because maybe they want to use it for hot chocolate or something then maybe I can get that down to a couple thousand to where it's going to be something that I want to potentially um, participate in so that's kind of how you do your research uh, we'll have more on research later on but that's kind of how you can do your initial you know uh, look around yourself to see what the opportunity is so with personalization it's very big and there, with many providers you can definitely do this we'll get into that when I when I talk more about creating the the mugs with uh, various print providers but that's something to keep in mind that you can do uh, if you go to Amazon you can kind of look at the opportunity there as well um, if I type in mug and again I have this expander extension I'll put the link um, in the research area in case you don't have it and it's also in the module that has all the tips tools and resources also so you will see that um, here as well and when I type in mug, I mug under $20 pops up. So these are all good keywords that I can use on my listings, whether it's Etsy or here. Um, because, you know, if somebody is searching for it on Amazon, chances are they're searching for it, you know, in other places as well. So this gives me ideas of either what to create or um, keywords to use. So, for instance, if you um, check Google, search volume is about 60,000 a month and it gives me an SEO difficulty of 80, means it is pretty competitive. Um, however, that also tells me that there's a market for it um, as well, which is nice. So when I look at coffee mugs here, um, this kind of gives me some ideas 
um, that I can do here. But again, uh, so mug for coffee tells me how, you know, what the competition score is and all that. Obviously, I want to be a little more specific. This probably should have been coffee mugs. I'm getting things like mug shots and all that, and that's not what I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, so coffee mug, uh, this is definitely a lot better. Um, so custom coffee mug. So about 22,000 searches a month on Google for it. Um, so this is where you can start to see, um, you know, kind of the, the demand for different products out there and whatnot. So if you're just kind of getting started with mugs and you haven't done a whole lot, um, with it, then I would recommend to start doing this. Uh, the other thing to do, if you are someone who has done, uh, say merch, you know, merch by Amazon, where you've done shirts and things like that, um, I can't stress enough. It's very, very different in terms of, you know, how you design for each. And I'll cover this more throughout the course. But here's an example. So this is a personalized mug with like a name and some and some flowers. Now on a coffee mug, that looks very good. But I don't know too many people that would wear a shirt that looks like that. Um, you know, so there's certainly a lot of different things that you can do uh, with this that, you know, that, that you don't necessarily do in shirts. Same thing with uh, this one that says Ashley like that, that, you know, name mug. Um, again, I don't know too many people who walk around with a t-shirt that has their name on the, on the front chest or something like that. Um, unless maybe you're, you're a celebrity or something, but for the most part, no one's going to do that. But with a coffee mug, you know, they have coffee out of every morning. People like to see their own name on the coffee mug there. Um, and all that. So there's, you know, there's definitely a, a big difference in my opinion as to what goes on uh, coffee mugs or what sells pretty well in coffee mugs versus uh, t-shirts and other products like that. You know, I, I just I can't stress enough that there is a difference. And I know that in the merch communities, a lot of people will just want to take all their existing graphics from shirts and put it on mugs. And for, you know, that may work for some designs um, that transfer over. But as you can see, I think if you're going to have the most success with coffee mugs, that means you're designing specifically for uh, the coffee mugs. Um, and I think that's how you'll see the most uh, success with it. So uh, hopefully that helps you with kind of understanding what the opportunity is. As you can see by Etsy, Amazon, and Google, the search results are there. The listings are there. Uh, there's obviously an opportunity. And because this is print on demand, uh, the opportunity is certainly there as a low barrier to entry uh, to get into this sort of business, you can start your own mug Etsy shop just like that, and you're good to go. And we're going to go over Etsy uh, a lot in this course because I think that's uh, certainly one of the best platforms to start selling on. Uh, a, because there is no upfront cost like there is on Amazon where you have to pay $39 a month right off to get go. Um, and then also it's just, um, I mean, you do have to pay your listing fees, but that's, you know, very small and it goes per listing. Uh, but also Etsy is the most kind of, you know, shop friendly type one. We'll get into that uh, when we get to the Etsy uh, setup. So for this module, just wanted to kind of show you guys the market out there and the opportunity uh, with the mug. So I'll see you in the next lecture.